Hi everybody, thank you so much for checking out our electives video. Um, so I'm Tamsin, I'm the CEO of medic to medic and this video or presentation is just going to tell you a little bit more about our medical elective initiative in Malawi. Um, so we're going to cover who we are because for some of you it might be the first time that you have heard of medic to medic uh, what our electives vision is, where you can go on your medical elective in Malawi. Um, so we'll talk about the hospitals that we've partnered with. Um, we'll talk a bit more about elective projects, elective presentations, and our mentors who are on the ground. Um, we'll also talk a little bit about the pre-travel uh, sort of travel support and preparation that we provide as well. Um, and then, of course, we'll talk a little bit more about the budget and about fundraising. Um, so medic to medic is a small international development organisation. Um, we are registered as a charity in the UK, New Zealand and also Malawi, which is our uh, main country of operation. And our aim is to support healthcare students in low income countries who are at risk of dropping out of their training um, due to poverty. So um, we provide so all students with uh, tuition fees until they graduate, um, a semester allowance. And if we've got the funds to do so, every student will also receive a medical equipment pack, some medical books which are relevant for their specific course, and also a laptop. Now, in Malawi, um, we have between 80 and 100 students um, on scholarship every year. And we're, our network of alumni is growing quite a lot which is fantastic so we've got over 200 alumni in Malawi at the moment um, and we do a survey every year of our graduates to find out where they're working um, and and what they're doing and we're quite proud to say that we can consistently report that over 91 percent of graduates remain in their country of training um, and we do have a smaller community in Uganda as well and and the same applies um, for them. So our elective's vision is to provide international medical students with opportunities for clinical placements in Malawi that are meaningful and responsive, whilst helping us fundraise sustainably for medic to medic students um, in Malawi. Now, the hospitals that we partner with, um, we've got five hospitals um, where we've got partnerships, and it's quite cool because actually many of our alumni work in these institutions as well. Um, so you, so we can connect you with them and you get quite um, a, a, a meaningful elective because you're fundraising for Medic to Medic and you also get to meet the alumni that are staffing the hospitals in Malawi. So we, I'll just take you through the hospitals. So in terms of the health system in Malawi, there's um, the government health system and then there's also the missionary health system, which sort of supplements um, what the government provides. Um, so the missionary health system is referred to um, as CHAM, which stands for the Christian Health Association of Malawi. Um, so the first CHAM hospital that we pa have partnered with is um, St. John's Hospital, which is in Mizuzu. Mizuzu is... Um, one of the main towns in Malawi. It's in the northern region, um, it, but it's still quite a quiet area. Like it's not a really super busy, bustling um, city or anything like that. But it's um, it is classified as urban, so that means that you've got sort of lodges and facilities nearby. There's um, good access to supermarkets and things like that. Um, and one of the well, the main doctor um, at St. John's Hospital is one of our alumni. So um, so they're very supportive and we've got a good relationship with them. At St. John's, there's also um, a missionary college attached uh, to the hospital. So it's literally across the road. So um, they train uh, sort of diploma, certificate and diploma level healthcare students, um, either in clinical medicine or nursing and midwifery. Um, there's other courses that they do there as well. Um, and our Elective students um, can help with teaching um, like first year diploma level students, things like history and examination skills, um, non-communicable diseases. Um, and the teaching fac faculty are, are really um, appreciative of that extra support because they've, they've only got very few lecturers. Um, so it's a great opportunity to gain some teaching experience as well. Now, the other um, missionary hospital that we partner with is in uh, the southern region. Um, and similarly to St. John's, it's got a missionary college attached to it. So um, Trinity Hospital and Trinity College are right next to each other. Now, it's a very rural area. So unlike um, Mizuzu, which is sort of classified as urban, Trinity Hospital in the Sanjay 
is is very rural so it's it's more of a quieter experience you get to know everybody um it is uh, it do, does tend to be very very hot in in the region um and during the rainy season uh, there's also um in the surrounding area not at the hospital or the college but um it is it is prone to flooding during the rainy season um and and likewise in a way that you you get to teach at St John's there's also the opportunity to get involved in teaching of um the nurse midwife students um at Trinity Hospital as well um, now, again, we we sponsor students at Trinity College, so there's the opportunity to meet students there as well. Um, and it, it's it's quite a cool place. It's it's very unique. And as I say, everyone, you get to know everyone. So it's sort of quite a um, a, a meaningful relationship um, because you because of the relationships you build. Now, we, we partner with a private hospital in Blantyre, so um, that's called Maiwatu Hospital. Um, so Blantyre is sort of often referred to as Malawi's commercial capital. It's where a lot of the business is. It's sort of well connected. It's got lots of facilities. Um, so if we, we wanted to partner with a private hospital so that for anyone wanting to compare and contrast their experiences, say you have four weeks at Trinity Hospital, knowing what it's like for very rural communities and their access to healthcare and what they have. And then your final two weeks, you could spend at Maiwatu Private Hospital and see sort of the contrast in, in facilities. Um, but it is also available if you want to spend your whole elective there, then then you absolutely can. And they're, they're a really friendly um, uh, group of doctors who, who work there. Um, it's, it's very supported, you're supervised well. So, um, uh, so yeah, so again, it's it's a very friendly hospital to be part of. Um, now the remaining two hospitals uh, that we partner with, um, so Lacoma Island is uh, another charm hospital. Um, so Lacoma Island is an island on in the middle of Lake Malawi. Um, it's actually closest to Mozambique, but it is Malawian owned. Um, so it really makes for an interesting patient population group because you've got the Malawians who live on the island but you also get a lot of visitors from Mozambique seeking health care because it's their nearest health facility um so it's a really unique experience and it's it's very much an island experience um we organize the ferry to get you there and the ferry runs sort of twice per, per week uh entering and leaving Lacoma Island at, um going to different places um, and we've got a partnership with um, one of the lodges for accommodation. So it's a it's a really unique elective experience. Um, and we've got a really good relationship with the administration who run the hospitals, uh, who run the hospital, sorry. Um, and they're they're really excited that um, they'll that they've got the opportunity to have students and host students. Um, now the other, the final hospital we partner with is Zomba Central Hospital. So Zomba's in the southern region. Um, it used to be Malawi's capital some time back. Um, so again, it's classified as urban. It's got lots of facilities. Um, it's sort of quite well connected. It uh, doesn't take long to get to Blantyre or kind of to other tourist destinations that you might be wanting to go to on the weekend. Given that it's a central hospital, it's very busy. So if you're sort of really gunning for pathology um, uh, and getting an experience of a busy tertiary level hospital, um, then Zomba would be the place for you. So we always encourage students doing electives um, to do an elective project. Um, so past projects have included things like um doing a period poverty uh project with uh, with the local schools nearby um and other other projects have been uh, sort of doing an audit of existing health facilities um one of the first projects we did was um an aspen management box um and that's because um inhalers are extremely expensive in malawi so many people rely on subutamol tablets um so we set up a sort of asthma management box so that um, we could help increase access to asthma resources for um, patients that needed them um, at that facility. Um, and we, we know as well that electives, you can sometimes have downtime, quieter periods, um, how, how busy things are will, will depend on which location you're at and how involved you get in sort of teaching and other things. So having a project on the go just sort of helps you fill those quieter times and also gives you an opportunity to sort of 
learn a bit more about clinical guidelines and priorities in, in Malawi um, and also then be able to give something back to the um, the institution and the hospital where you are. Um, so the other opportunities you can get involved with, so we, we've we started an initiative at Medic to Medic called School Talks, um, which is basically where Medic to Medic students or alumni go into a secondary school um, to give a motivational talk to the students. Um, they sort of share with them their journey, the challenges that they had, how they over overcame them, really try to encourage them to stay at school despite um, sort of school fee challenges that they have. Um, and encourage them also into the health profession. So sort of sharing a little bit more about the diversity of professions within healthcare. Lots of students will have heard of nurse and doctor, but not many students will know what a physio does or what a radiographer is or um, what a counsellor does. So it's sort of trying to increase health lit literacy amongst school children as well so that they can make informed decisions about um, the courses that they decide to do at university. And then our elective students um, will do some basic first aid teaching. So things like um, how to do CPR, how what is the recovery position, how to put someone in the recovery position, and then management of, of choking. So just some sort of tangible skills to try and um, motivate the students um, to think about health related courses um, in their future careers. Sometimes from time to time, we've got first aid um, courses going on. Um, we work with businesses um, and and other kind of stakeholders in, in Malawi to teach um, CPR again um, and other skills. So if there's any of those running, then you can certainly get involved in those. Um, we could also sort of like, yeah, depending on your level of comfort, obviously not compulsory, but, um, but I was told by someone some time back that um, sort of one of the most valuable things visitors can do is um, give blood when they're in Malawi. Um, and that's because... Uh, that's a great need for blood. Um, anemia is a very common, malaria is very common. Um, but also there's there's not always um a good supply of blood because there's lots of anemias and actually uh, nutritional deficiencies and infectious diseases which actually prevent people from donating. So um so if you can give blood while you're in Malawi, then we'd encourage you to do that and we can let you know kind of um how to go about doing that as well. Now, other things, um, so we also do encourage you to um, take out some medical equipment or supplies with you. Now, most airline tickets to Malawi get two bags, even if you're in economy, um, as part of your ticket. So um, at Medic to Medic, we always need help shifting heavy items like um, medical textbooks. Um, so if if you do have space, then we can we can give you advice of of what you can take both for us, but also for your hospital location, and that will be really really um we'll be really really grateful for that. Now, some other opportunities in terms of a, a medical elective with us, um, you can get involved, uh, as I've mentioned, with teaching at the missionary colleges. Um, sometimes there's graduations and we struggle because we partner with several colleges. It's it's sometimes a bit logistically challenging to get to all the graduations. So um, you may be asked to represent us um, at, a, at a graduation if, it, if there's one going on um, near the elective location where you're placed. Um, we have also do guardian visits with all our new student applications. So that's where one of our alumni who's been trained up um, goes to visit the guardians of a respective student um, and then fills out um, and discusses with the family um, who, who Medic to Medic are and, and what the expectations are. And they can be really good opportunities just actually to see the home life and the challenges of what a student has been through to get to where they are. So if we've got any of those, then then we can um, get you involved in those as well. And obviously meeting alumni and meeting your students, um, you can get quite a, a rich and meaningful experience through that as well. Now, every year we'll be holding a webinar for elective students to present um, their elective project or to present um, an aspect of their elective that they want to share. Um, so that gives an opportunity for you to build your CV um, skills to say that you've presented um, at an online um, event for an international organization. Um, and it also really gives us an information to share information with stakeholders in Malawi. Um, so the, the projects are particularly useful. We can share with um, all the hospital sites and the Malawi Medical Council and um, and all our, all our colleges what we're doing. Um, so uh, we, we'd love um, our elective students to be involved in that as well. 
Now on the ground in Malawi, like um, we've got uh, our our alumni who are um extremely helpful. Um, we've trained up ten of our alumni to be elective mentors, so they've had training on serious things, so things like medical evacuation, um, but they've also had training on sort of common things like, oh, I'm not feeling too well, or where do I get a bus from, um, you know, th things that, um, anything that you need to ask in terms of local knowledge, they're available. So we match you up with them uh, about four weeks before you arrive in country, so you've got a bit of time to get to know each other if you want, and then they're available on the ground to help help you settle in, um, help give you um local information um, and uh, also um are there if you have any problems um to to be the first person um that they're your point of contact so we've also started in our preparation for elective students um some tropical medicine tutorials so that's included within your elective fee so these are delivered over zoom by our graduates and alumni who are in malawi and then each tutorial is uploaded onto youtube um so that you've you've got it at a later time should you want to do any revision so they each um each tutorial lasts about an hour and it's a set of 10 tutorials covering sort of the main infectious diseases, the big three, uh, TB, HIV and malaria, and then sort of um, other other common things like general surgery, dermatology, neglected tropical diseases, common pediatric presentations, um, obstetric emergencies, mal malnutrition. And then I do a um, presentation just regarding sort of ethics of electives in low resource settings just to help sort of prepare you for things that you might see um, on the ground. Um, we, we also help prepare you by, um, doing some language lessons before you go again, held over zoom. Um, and this time you're matched up to a medic to medic student who is your tutor for, for those tutorials. So, um, there, the main local language in Malawi is called Chichiwa. Um, then there's also Chichiao and Tumbuka, um, in different regions as well. Um, so we will provide you with our language leaflets and if you want to, um, do a language lessons and we we organize those for you you get um six lessons included in your elective fee and if you want to have more then you absolutely can and um, but they'll just be a small small payment for any additional lessons after that um, and then before you arrive in malawi as well we'll also give you access to it um to chiwa medical translation ebook um uh, which is also available in hard copy but it, again there's a small fee if you want a hard copy now, Malawi is a really beautiful country to travel in. There's lots of opportunities. Um, if you like hiking, there's uh, there's Zomba Plateau, there's um, Mount Malangi. Um, if you like national parks and seeing animals, there's lots of safari opportunities. Uh, Lewande National Park, uh, Nika Plateau, Majeti National Park. Um, and then, of course, there's gorgeous Lake Malawi, which um, is a really beautiful place um, to visit and lots of places along, along the lake. Um, and then you've got places uh, very unique like Deads of Pottery and then all the tea estates um, so there's lots of things to do. Um, we'll send you a guidebook as part of your planning um, uh, so that's also included in your elective fee and you're added to a current elective student whatsapp group so you, uh, you can plan trips and things with other students that might be in the country at the same time um, and then afterwards you're added to an alumni elective group um, and that's basically just where we ask for feedback over different things of, of anything that's come up um, before. Obviously, you don't have to be part of those, but those are um, just ways that we try to connect you to other students that are coming um, uh, to, to Malawi. Now, in terms of the budget, so um, we, we depending on sort of how long you want to stay, I, I realise um, all the options up on the slide don't cover maybe what everyone's plans are, but um, but I'm just giving you the options for one month, uh, six weeks, um, or eight weeks. Um, so for for one month, it's uh, one thousand one hundred and fifty pounds. Um, uh, for New Zealand students, it's two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, and then obviously you can see the other charges for the other options on there. Now, it, it is possible to split your elective between two different locations, but we do just add on a transport fee just to ensure that we can um, uh, do provide you the transportation um, within Malawi. Um, and obviously, if you're going from like Nisanje to Lakoma, um, then that that's obviously quite a long way. Um, 
but so it, the transport fee is sort of in in the region of a hundred pounds to two hundred dollars, um, depending on where we're transporting you to, um, and if if it's yourself or if you're sharing the transport with another student. But we can we can discuss that with you um directly um if if that's um if that's something that applies for your for your circumstances. So our fee includes sort of all the pre-travel support. So the things like um, the language lessons, the tropical medicine tutorials. Um, we um, obviously, uh, during the planning, we have Zoom sessions with you um, to discuss any questions that you have and, um, and ensure that we, we give you a location that's going to suit your needs and what you're looking for. Um, the, the fee also includes the hospital hosting fee, um, airport pickup and drop off. Um, we give you a SIM card and then we start you off with one day data bundle. After that, you'll need to pay for your own data bundles. That's just because logistically it's going to be hard for us um, to, to top you up when the time comes. But we'll, we'll get you going with a 65 gigabyte data bundle to start with. Um, we'll transport you to and from your placement. Um, the fee includes accommodation and breakfast. Some of the sites do provide breakfast specifically. Um, and if they don't, then we give you cash on the ground so that you can buy um, your own your own breakfasts um, at your location. We do the registration with the Malawi Medical Council on your behalf. Um, we match you with an elective mentor. Um, and then we've got a debrief support um, when you get back as well. Um, and as, as I mentioned, also provides we also provide you with a guidebook in, as part of your fee. And we also do some carbon offsetting for your international flight. So um, some of our students um, apply for grants from us to do tree planting within their villages. Um, and so we we use some of your fee to carbon offset your international flight um, through those tree planting initiatives. So things that the fee does not include is indemnity insurance. Now, most indemnity providers provide elective um, indemnity cover for free. So hopefully that's not going to affect your budget too much, but you must check with your indemnity provider. It doesn't include travel insurance. It doesn't include the um, travel health appointment or any vaccinations that you may need. Um, it doesn't include your airfare. Um, at this current point in time, um, and we're currently July 2024, um, Malawi has waived um, visas for international visitors, but that may well change in the future. So the fee doesn't include your Malawi visa. Um, generally speaking, if a visa is required, you can pick it up on the border. Um, but if there's the possibility that you can do it beforehand through the e-visa system, I would encourage you to do that just for a smoother transition when you arrive. Um, we already mentioned that it doesn't include include your airtime bundles after your first data bundle that we've set you up with. It doesn't include meals, so lunch and dinner, and it obviously doesn't include sightseeing um, trips or, or recreation. But through your elective fee, we're able to um, provide a scholarship to one more Malawian student um, through the fundraising that you help us with. So, um, so that, I mean, that's for us, that's just transformational for, for the student. So we're really grateful for elective students who, who choose to come uh, with us to Malawi to do a medic to medic elective. Now, so hopefully I've covered most, most things, but if you have any questions, if there's anything specific that you wanna ask, please do feel free to get in touch. Um, if you email us on the address here, so info at medic to medic .org .uk, and put in the subject header elective application, um, and then um, give us a little bit of information about yourself, what university you come from, what your elective dates are. And if you have a preference for location, let us know as well. And then we'll we'll obviously reply. We'll set up a Zoom call with you and we'll take things from there. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening um, to this and for anyone interested in a Medic to Medic Collective in Malawi. Um, we hope to hear from you soon.